Hello and welcome to my channel and today I thought we'd do some lathe work, some turning on my mini lathe. The lathe work I'm talking about, the turning, is for the project I'm doing, the big motor upgrade. And what I need to do is turn some special pulleys for this. I already picked out the material some 6061. It's way oversized and I'm going to have to rough it down. Uh, while I'm doing that, watch this. Maybe I could tell you exactly why I need to do this. Here, watch this. And the first thing I want to do is replace these timing pulleys. This one right here. It's connected to the high-low shifter, which is connected right to the spindle. And the other one that is on the motor. This is the motor that I wanna replace. Once this is gone, I'm going to run a shaft from about here, but right where this old pulley is, continue out on a shaft and a couple of pillow blocks and with V-belts down underneath all of this bench here, machine base. What I need to do is start somewhere. And what I'm gonna do is start with that one pulley that's hooked to this high-low gear. And that's about a two inch diameter pulley. And like I said, I want to change what type of pulley it is. That's a timing pulley and a timing belt. Here's what I want to put on there. This is a profile printout of the type of belt that I want to use. Uh, let's see, what is it called? I have it written down here. It's called a, a six-ribbed. PJ V belt with the 640 degree V ribs. That would be these here. And uh, like I said, I'm going to start with this pulley, go down to a shaft. Shaft's moving over, going down through the base. I'm doing one step at a time. Pulleys first, shaft next, pillow blocks. Let's do this. While you were getting caught up, on what I'll be making exactly, I roughed down that material for the large pulley to a size that I can work with. Okay, I got my blank. What I need to do with it now is uh, face the other side, put a counter bore in it, and drill and bore. Not necessarily in that order. I think what we're going to do first is uh, face this off to size. All right, let's do this. Okay, let's measure this. Six hundred and four thousandths. I need to bring it to five fifty two for a finished size. So that's the easy one, that's fifty two thousandths. Okay, how I'm gonna do this is I have a stop set and I have a fifty thousandths gauge block. I'm going to slip that in between the stop and the carriage. And with a 50,000 gauge block, 
I just need to bring this all the way to the stop and it will be to size. Let's do this. Let's see where we're at. 52 and a half thousandths. That's not bad. Uh, what I want to do now is drill. Using a spotting drill. I'm going to drill a hole that's a 64th under 3 8 That would be, let's see, 3 8 375, 64th under. That's a 23 64th drill, and that is 359 thousandths. Let's check that. Three hundred and fifty-nine thousandths. Okay, I remember when I was apprentice, just because I took it out of the drill case, I assumed that's got to be the size. I've screwed up parts. That's the same with gauge blocks. Always check your drills and gauge blocks before you use them. Okay, what I want to do now is uh, bore that hole. Okay, the next thing I need to do is make a counter bore about three quarters of an inch in diameter and about 158 thousandths deep. What I have to do next with this is I need to put it on an arbor and uh, turn the OD down to the proper size and then put all my grooves in with the tool bit that I had built, that I had ground up. Okay, let's get that arbor in here. All right, let's finish this up. I need to turn the OD to 1 inch 782 and then put all, all six 40 degree V grooves in there and that will bring this pulley to a finish. Okay, let's do this.
That should be it. One inch, seven, eighty-two and five tenths. Close enough. All right, now I have to set it up to put the grooves in there. Okay, I have my grooving tool in. I have set my zero. And I have a series of gauge blocks that I will be putting between the dead stop and my carriage to mark each center. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is put some red dicom on here so I can see where I touch off. Okay, that was my first one. Now I need to change gauge box. Make sure there's no chips in there or that will really screw it up. All right. Number two. Alright, last groove. Yeah, I lost my gauge box. Uh, the last thing I need to do is cut a little radius or break the corners on each one of those. And I will do that with a little file. Take this little wire brush and clean it up. It looks beautiful. Let's get it off of there. All right, that's it. 
Off camera, I did the other one. Of course, I did this one first to test out my tool, but uh, they both work. This is what they'll look like in there. <laughs> and uh, the next thing would be making a shaft that this pulley will go on that will replace the motor, a shaft that will go into some pillow blocks. And that will probably be my next video unless I find something more exciting to do. But <laughs> I really want to get this motor on here, running, and then do some more challenges, see what I can do with that thing. Okay, so until next time. Enjoy.